Hi guys, this is a very short Blender tip on using the Node Wrangler add-on to add PBR textures for the principled BSDF shader. I'm using Blender 2.8 here, but 2.79 will also work. The Node Wrangler add-on is included, you can find it here in the user preferences. You can do many great things with it, but I want to focus here on adding PBR textures to the principled shader. Ok, let me open a project with a hard surface model for which I created the PBR textures with Substance Painter and I added a Cycles material with a simple principled BSDF shader. Now the only thing I have to do to add the exported PBR textures to the shader is to press Ctrl, Shift and T, then select the texture files and Node Wrangler will automatically assign them to the correct inputs. I can also switch to EV Render now in Blender 2.8 that also uses the principal shader. Node Wrangler also adds a texture coordinate and mapping node and it sets the node for the base color to color and the other ones roughness, metallic and normal to non-color data. And it adds a normal map node as well. Ok, now let me show you this for a project where we don't have roughness and metallic maps, just diffuse and normal map. But this is also no problem, just select the files, the maps that you have and Node Wrangler will assign these ones only. The algorithm is also intelligent enough to assign the textures to the appropriate slots, for example here the diffuse texture no matter if the name contains the string diffuse or base color. So it's a kind of semi-automization and in my opinion it's really useful. So guys that's it, if you like these short tips please let me know and if you like my channel and find it useful then don't forget to subscribe to not miss a future video. Thanks for watching and see you on JNM.